Call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. Your character was meant for magical greatness, but you're not beholden to the fickle whims of an otherworldly patron or the daunting labors of wizardly study because you, my friend, are a sorcerer. And whether it's the stuff of legend or a source of mystery, the origin of this arcane power defines you. The best part? You, the player, get to define it. So grab a character sheet and a handful of six-sided dice. Here's your sorcerer quick build for 5th edition D&D. Don't know how to play? We'll, we'll show, show you the way. way. Handbook. 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 Handbooker helper. Handbooker helper. Ding. Salutations, people of the internet. I'm Chris Lockie, content producer here at Critical Role. And I'm here to let you know that sorcerers are the natural-born casters of the Dungeons & Dragons multiverse. Magic is a part of them, and they tap into a raw font of arcane energy within themselves to harness awesome and unexplained powers. It should come as no surprise then that the spellcasting ability for sorcerer spells is charisma. And since sorcerers only gain 1d6 hit points per level, a hearty constitution is a worthy investment if you plan on going toe-to-toe -to -toe in combat. When creating your sorcerer, it's important to ask questions like, uh, where precisely did my arcane power come from? As far as a sorceress origin is concerned, the player's handbook offers the basic draconic bloodline and wild magic options, but there are other variations out there waiting to be discovered. Draconic Bloodline traces your innate magical abilities to a dragon ancestor. It causes the physical and elemental traits of that origin to emerge as you advance. Wild Magic, on the other hand, is fueled by the raw ebb and flow of primordial chaos and grants power born from the untamed potential of chance. One major difference between sorcerers and wizards is a more restricted spell list. But this apparent lack of variety and depth is supplemented by the sorcerer's unparalleled arcane flexibility. A sorcerer has no need for a pesky grimoire or an otherworldly patron. Their power comes from within. And if you happen to learn a spell along the way that ends up feeling a little off-brand for your character, fear not. Whenever you gain a new level as a sorcerer, you can replace one of the class spells you already know with a different one from the sorcerer's spell list. Of appropriate level, of course. Try not to think of that original spell selection as a waste. Think of it as a learning opportunity. There's a good chance you'll see that spell again before all of your adventures are through. The PHB recommends shield and magic missile for starting sorcerers, but personally, I'll take mage armor over shield nine times out of ten. And as for cantrips, you can't go wrong with having Fire Bolt or Ray of Frost in the old arsenal, but you probably don't need them both. Let your PC's narrative decide the rest. So, what really separates sorcerers from wizards and warlocks? Sorcery points. Sorcery points are the arcane currency every sorcerer uses to navigate their way through the intricate and mysterious weave of magic. Sorcerers start off with two sorcery points at second level and gain one new sorcery point every time they advance, all the way up to an epic 20 points at level 20. Sorcery points are used for class features like flexible casting, which enables you to convert sorcery points to extra spell slots and vice versa, and metamagic, a system of arcane options that allow you to alter the power and manifestation of your spells to suit your sorceress whims. Flexible casting is pretty straightforward, but metamagic can get a little tricksy if you're not up to the challenge of a bit of extra accounting. You'll gain two, count them, two metamagic options when this class feature kicks in at third level. But that's it until you get to pick one more at level 10, and eventually your fourth and final metamagic option at level 17. So choose wisely. We highly recommend you take a close look at Quickened Spell, Distant Spell, and Twinned Spell for starters. Personal play style and character traits should have a healthy influence on your decision making here, but these three options are definitely worth the price of admission. Trust me. Well, that about does it for our Sorcerer Quick Build. It's time to go make a name for yourself. And once you're stunning everyone at the game table with your newfound knowledge of all things sorcery, be sure to tell them Critical Role sent you. Unless you end up blowing up your party with a wild magic surge, then you sent your damn self, and don't say we didn't warn you. Handbook! 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 Handbooker helper! Handbooker helper! Ding.